Hello folks, this is my Muslim Chief Market Analyst at Ever Trade. Welcome to our daily fundamental video analysis. Today is packed with action. We are not speaking of earnings only. We are not speaking of economic data. But today is the day when central banks and their policies will come under the spotlight. And of course, I'm speaking of the European Central Bank and its meeting and its monetary policy decision, which is due at 12.30 UK time. First, as you can see in the chart, the euro dollar has really fired up against the dollar. The momentum is to the upside. But the big question for investors is, are we going to see this momentum continue? Of course, the anticipations are that the European Central Bank is going to keep its monetary policy currently at its current pace. Meaning there'll be no change in the central bank's policy. It isn't supposed to move its muscle and that is why we're seeing this fire up rally this massive strength in the euro, uh, euro rally against the dollar. But of course if the ECB decides to do anything which is which deviates what the market is really expecting then expect weakness for the euro and of course that this weakness in the euro could really mean more rally for the European stocks because the, uh, the, the relation between the euro and the European market is not in there, there's no positive correlation there's negative correlation between the two now speaking of U US markets it is about two economic numbers first of all we're gonna get the US retail sales number and secondly it is going to be your US unemployment claims, initial jobless claims, continuing jobless claims. These are the numbers which are really going to spur the rally for the uh, precious metal. And I'm speaking of gold because for the last few days, what we are seeing, and of course, as you can see in the chart, is very much of a consolidation zone. The prices are still trading above the 1800, but we need a new catalyst, folks. And that catalyst can really be the US retail sales number. But the fact is, the retail sales number, the forecast is very weak and that number looks even more feeble against the previous week's reading because the previous week we had a 17, the reading was 17 and now it is very, very weak and feeble in comparison to that. So if today's number comes even weaker than the forecast, then expect the precious metal gold prices to rally from here and then continue the journey towards the 1850. But doesn't matter. If the retail sales numbers are strong, we are still likely to see rally for the gold prices after, of course, the initial retracement on the back of data. Why? Because it is also about the US unemployment claims data. That number is still going to be above that 1 million mark. The forecast is for 1.3 million against the previous reading, against the previous number of 1.3 million approximately. So still unemployment claims are heavy, still unemployment claims are very high and that means the US economy is still likely to face some more obstacles going forward. Of course in the UK the unemployment claims that data has shown a positive reading and that has produced some sort of a rally for a sterling but that is unlikely to last. Why? Because the furlough schemes are about to end very soon and the moment when those schemes will end we are going to see spike in the UK's unemployment data. That is all for today. See you guys tomorrow.